Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about surface area to volume ratios. This topic is particularly important in AP Biology. First, let's talk about the definition. Surface area to volume ratio is the amount of surface area per unit of volume in a cell. So the amount of surface area per the unit of volume in a cell. It's important because it sets upper limits on the size of cells. What this means is that a cell, if it gets too large, won't have enough surface area to meet its metabolic requirements. So if the volume becomes too large, the surface area becomes too small, the surface area to volume ratio gets smaller, and this is not good for the cell. A higher surface area to volume ratio means two things for the cell. It means the cell can get more nutrients in, and the cell can get more wastes out. So when a cell has more surface area per unit of volume, this is a good thing. Smaller cells have that. They have less volume per surface area or more surface area per volume. Now let's look at some examples. I have drawn two cells here. They are spherical. One has a radius of 5 microns, one has a radius of 10 microns. If we calculate their surface area and their volume using the correct equations, that is 4 pi r squared for surface area and 4 thirds pi r cubed for volume, we then take the surface area divided by the volume to get the surface area to volume ratio. So for the 5 micron radius cell, the surface area to volume ratio is 0 0.6. For the larger cell with a radius of 10 microns, the surface area to volume ratio is smaller. It's 0 0.3. So what that means is that the smaller cell has more surface area per unit of volume than the larger cell. Now, let's look at a way that the body can create cells with extra surface area when needed. The best example of this is the cells lining the small intestines. Here, I have drawn these cells. Each one is in a different color to allow you to see them better. The black dots are the nutrients that have been digested by the digestive system. And these cells that line the small intestine, it's their job to bring in the digested nutrients into the cell, so to absorb the nutrients. What they do is they have this layer that is called a brush border. The brush border is made up of cell appendages called microvilli. So each one of these finger-like protrusions is a microvillus. So microvillus is singular, microvilli is plural. And you can see that all of these finger-like projections out of the cell greatly increase each cell's surface area, and they allow the brush border of the lining of the small intestines to absorb nutrients much more effectively because they have that larger surface area and in turn a higher surface area to volume ratio. So this is why this concept is important. It's all about how cells are able to meet their metabolic requirements for bringing nutrients in and also getting wastes out. So that is it for this episode of Biology Professor. I hope you learned a lot and thanks for watching.